Here are 30 most commonly asked interview questions and detailed answers. Related to SAP Materials Management MM in the context of a support project. 1. What is the role of SAP MM in a support project? Answer. SAP MM in a support project involves maintaining and enhancing the existing MM functionalities, resolving issues, providing user support, and ensuring the smooth operation of procurement and inventory processes. 2. Explain the concept of support packages in SAP M. Answer. Support packages in SAP MM contain corrections and updates to ensure system stability and security. They are regularly released by SAP, and their implementation is crucial for system maintenance. 3. How do you handle and prioritize SAP M? Support tickets? Answer. Support tickets are prioritized based on the impact on business processes. Critical issues affecting day-to-day -day operations take precedence, followed by medium and low-priority tickets. 4. What are the key challenges faced in SAP MM support, and how do you address them? Answer. Challenges may include system performance issues, data inconsistencies, or complex customization requirements. Addressing them involves thorough analysis, collaboration with technical teams, and applying best practices. 5. Explain the importance of end-user training in SAP MM support. Answer. End-user training is crucial for efficient system usage and minimizing errors. It ensures that users are familiar with SAP MM processes, reducing the likelihood of support tickets related to user errors. 6. How do you approach resolving SAP MM issues reported by end users? Answer. The resolution process involves analyzing the reported issue, identifying the root cause, implementing necessary corrections or configurations, testing, and finally, providing user training if needed. 7. What tools do you use for monitoring and performance optimization in SAP MM? Answer. Tools like SAP Solution Manager, Street 22 for dump analysis, and Street 03 for performance analysis are utilized. Regular monitoring helps identify and address potential issues proactively. 8. How do you handle data migration and cleansing activities in SAP MM? Answer. Data migration involves careful planning, validation, and execution using tools like LUSM Legacy System Migration Workbench. Data cleansing includes identifying and rectifying data inconsistencies. 9. Explain the concept of transport requests in SAP MM support. Answer. Transport requests are used to move configuration changes and developments from the development environment to quality and production environments. They ensure consistency across landscapes. 10. How do you perform system testing and regression testing in SAP MM support? Answer. System testing involves validating end-to-end -end processes, while regression testing ensures that new changes do not adversely affect existing functionalities. Test scripts and scenarios are executed for thorough validation. 11. How do you manage SAP MM configurations in a support project? Answer. Configuration changes are documented, and changes are tracked using change management tools. A detailed impact analysis is conducted before implementing changes to avoid disruptions. 12. Explain the concept of SAP MM authorizations and how you manage them in a support project. Answer. SAP MM authorizations control user access to different MM transactions and functionalities. In a support project, Authorizations are managed through roles and profiles, ensuring that users have the necessary permissions for their roles. 13. How do you handle SAP MM integration with other SAP modules in a support project? Answer. Integration points with modules like SAP SD, SAP WM, and SAP PHY are monitored closely. Coordination with cross-functional teams is essential to address issues and ensure seamless data flow. 14. What preventive measures do you take to avoid recurring issues in SAP MM support? Answer. Root cause analysis of recurring issues is conducted, and preventive measures are implemented. 
This may involve system optimizations, user training, or process improvements. 15. Explain the process of applying OSS notes and SAP support packages in SAP M. Answer. OSS notes are applied to address specific issues, and support packages are implemented to update the system. Both processes involve careful planning, testing, and documentation. 16. How do you handle SAP? M. Master data maintenance in a support project? Answer. Master data maintenance involves regular checks for accuracy and completeness. Data cleansing activities such as archiving and deletion of obsolete data are performed to ensure data quality. 17. Explain the significance of SAP MM batch management in a support project. Answer. SAP MM batch management is critical for traceability and quality control. Support activities involve monitoring batch-related processes, resolving batch-related issues, and ensuring compliance with regulations. 18. How do you manage changes to SAP MM reports and output documents in a support project? Answer. Changes to reports and output documents are documented and managed through change control procedures. Thorough testing is conducted to ensure that changes do not impact data accuracy. 19. How do you ensure data security and compliance with data privacy regulations in SAP MM support? Answer. Data security is maintained through role-based access controls, and compliance with data privacy regulations is ensured. By implementing relevant SAP functionalities, such as data masking or encryption. 20. Explain the process of handling SAP MM enhancement packs in a support project. Answer. Enhancement packs bring new functionalities and improvements. Their implementation involves assessing the impact, testing, and ensuring that existing customizations remain compatible. 21. How do you address performance issues in SAP MM support? Answer. Performance issues are addressed through tools like SAP Solution Manager and Street 03. Analysis involves identifying bottlenecks, optimizing configurations, and collaborating with technical teams if needed. 22. Explain the process of SAP MM archiving in a support project. Answer. SAP M. Archiving involves removing obsolete data to improve system performance. Archiving objects are defined and the process includes data extraction, storage, and eventual deletion. 23. How do you manage SAP MM interfaces with external systems in a support project? Answer. Interface monitoring is performed to ensure data consistency between SAP, MM, and external systems. Coordination with interface owners and technical teams is essential for issue resolution. 24. Explain the role of business continuity planning in SAP MM support. Answer. Business continuity planning involves preparing for potential disruptions, ensuring data backups, and having contingency plans. It ensures that critical MM processes can be restored in case of unforeseen events. 25. How do you handle SAP MM support during system upgrades or migrations? Answer. During upgrades or migrations, a detailed project plan is created, an impact analysis is conducted. Thorough testing is performed to ensure that existing functionalities remain intact. 26. Explain the process of SAP MM system monitoring in a support project. Answer. System monitoring involves regular checks for performance, job status, and error logs. Alerts are configured for critical issues, and proactive measures are taken to prevent system downtimes. 27. How do you ensure SAP MM data consistency across different client landscapes? Answer. Data consistency is maintained through the careful execution of transport requests, ensuring that configurations and developments are synchronized across development, quality, and production landscapes. 28. Explain the concept of SAP MM locking in a support project. Answer. SAP MM locking prevents multiple users from updating the same data simultaneously. Locks are applied during critical operations to avoid data inconsistencies and conflicts. 
29. How do you handle user authorization requests in SAP MM support? Answer. User authorization requests are processed through a well-defined workflow. Changes to user roles and permissions are documented, tested, and implemented following change management procedures. 30. Explain the role of documentation in SAP MM support. Answer. Documentation is essential for recording configurations, changes, and issue resolutions. It serves as a reference for the support team and aids in knowledge transfer. Thorough documentation ensures transparency and accountability. These questions and answers provide insights into the key aspects of SAP MM support projects, covering various areas such as issue resolution, system maintenance, data management, and compliance. Interviewers may tailor questions based on specific project requirements. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers, and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.